Hi, this is Rob. Features and how to use the Ninja Foodie Smart XL 6-in-1 Indoor Grill DG551 Second Generation. They call this a 6-in-1 Indoor Grill because it has six main cooking functions. Grill, air crisp, which is similar to air fry, roast, bake, broil, and dehydrate. What do you get in the box? You get the main grill itself. A grill gate. The grill gate is non-stick ceramic coated grill that you can cook up to six steaks at a time. And this grill gate will give your steaks that grill house char. This grill gate is easy to clean and dishwasher safe. The grill gate is used with the next included item. A cooking pot, which is also non-stick, ceramic coated, easy to clean, and dishwasher safe. Use the cooking pot when roasting meat, chicken, or vegetables. Also, the grill gate is placed on top of the cooking pot when grilling. A crisper basket. This four-quart crisper basket is used for air crisping french fries and wings or dehydrating meats and fruits. This is also non-stick, ceramic coated, easy to clean, and dishwasher safe. A removable splatter shield. The splatter shield keeps the upper heating element clean and prevents the Ninja grill from smoking. It's removable for easy cleaning and is also dishwasher safe. A cleaning brush, which is used for cleaning the grill gate, and is also dishwasher safe. But some people don't like this cleaning brush, and they recommend that you buy a different brush for cleaning grill gates. And a Foodie Smart Thermometer. This thermometer has two sensors. You leave it in the meat while it is cooking. The thermometer continuously monitors the internal temperature of food in two places for more accurate cooking results. This thermometer lets you know when it's time to take your food off the grill and let it rest. On the right side of the grill, there is this area where you can store the thermometer when not in use. Also included is an owner's manual, a quick start guide, and a 15 recipe booklet. A couple of items that are not included but can be purchased from the ninjakitchen.com website. A grill roast rack. Use this rack to elevate large roast and veggies to achieve the all-around char. It is also dishwasher safe. A grill combo crisper basket. Place this two-quart combo crisper basket on the grill gate to air crisp french fries while grilling your steaks or hamburgers at the same time. And on Amazon, there are baking accessories that you can buy for this Ninja Grill. The control panel. The on and off button. Used to turn on and off the Ninja Grill. If you press the off button during cooking, the Ninja Grill will stop cooking and shut down. The cooking function buttons. Grill. Air crisp. Roast. Bake. Broil. And dehydrate. A light above the button will illuminate after you press that button. I'll give more detail about each of the cooking functions later in this video. After you choose one of the six cooking functions, the default temperature and default cooking time will display on the LCD. If you want to adjust the cooking temperature, use the up or down arrows to the left. If you want to adjust the cooking time, use the up or down arrows to the right. The start stop button is to begin preheating the Ninja Grill. Just like an oven needs to be preheated before you place food in the oven, so does the Ninja Grill needs to be preheated. During preheating, a progress bar will begin illuminating on the LCD display. It will take between three to 10 minutes for the Ninja Grill to preheat, depending on the cooking function that you're using. The broil function and the dehydrate function do not use preheating. If you want to skip the preheating, press the Skip Preheat button, but it is highly recommended that you use preheating. After the Ninja Grill is preheated, it will beep and the LCD display will show Add Food. Open the hood and add your food into the Ninja Grill. Once the hood is closed, cooking will begin and the timer will start counting down. At any time, you can open the hood to check on the progress of the cooking or to shake the food, such as french fries. The Ninja Grill will pause cooking when you open the hood. After checking on the food, close the hood 
and the Ninja Grill will resume cooking and counting down. When cook time is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and end will appear on the LCD display. This is the preset manual button when using the included thermometer. I'll cover how to use the thermometer later in the video. The cooking functions. Grill. How to use the grill function without the thermometer. Place the cooking pot in the Ninja Grill. Then place the grill grate on the cooking pot with the grill grate handles facing up. Ensure that the splatter shield is in place, then close the hood. If you are using the grill setting without the included thermometer, the default temperature setting will display on the LCD, which is high. The temperature settings for grill are max, high, medium, and low. To change the temperature settings to one of these settings, use the up and down arrow buttons on the left. Then use the up and down arrows to the right of the display to adjust the cooking time in one minute increments. The maximum cooking time for grill is 30 minutes. After adjusting the temperature and cooking time, press the start stop button to begin preheating the Ninja Grill. The Ninja Grill needs to be preheated before you place your food inside the Ninja Grill. You can skip the preheating by pressing the skip preheat button, but it's recommended to preheat. For the grill function, it takes about 10 minutes to preheat the Ninja Grill. You can also cancel preheating while the Ninja Grill is preheating by pressing the skip preheat button. During preheating, a progress bar will begin illuminating on the LCD. When preheating is finished, the Ninja Grill will beep and add food will appear on the LCD. Open the hood and place the food on the grill grate. Then close the hood. Once the hood is closed, cooking will begin and the timer will start counting down. When cook time is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and end will appear on the LCD. Using the cooking functions with the thermometer. Plug the thermometer into the jack on the right side of the Ninja Grill. Push firmly on the plug until it cannot go into the jack any further. Replace the storage compartment cover back onto the side of the Ninja Grill. Once the thermometer is plugged into the jack, the thermometer button will illuminate. Then select the desired cook function, for example, grill. Then press the thermometer button until the preset is illuminated. There are only two choices, preset or manual. Now select the cooking temperature by using the up and down buttons on the left side of the control panel. Then you're going to select the type of food that you are cooking by using the up and down arrow buttons to the right of the LCD. The choices of food type will be fish, chicken, if you are cooking turkey, use the chicken setting, pork, or beef. If you are cooking lamb, use the beef setting. Then use the arrow buttons on the left of the LCD to select the internal wellness of the food that you are cooking. The choices are rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well. If you know the internal temperature that you want your food to be cooked to, you can use the manual setting by pressing the thermometer button until manual is illuminated. Then use the up and down arrow buttons on the left of the LCD to set the temperature. In the owner's manual, there is a chart that shows the temperatures. There is no need to set a cook time when using the thermometer, as the Ninja Grill will automatically stop cooking when your food has reached the internal temperature for the wellness that you selected. Do not put the food in the Ninja Grill yet. We have to preheat. Close the hood and press the Start Stop button to begin preheating. If you want to skip the preheating, press the Skip Preheat button, but it's highly recommended to use preheating. During preheating, you can also stop the preheating by pressing the Skip Preheat button. As the Ninja Grill is preheating, insert the thermometer horizontally straight into the center of the thickest part of the piece of protein. Do not angle the thermometer towards the bottom or top of the protein. Make sure that the thermometer is close to, but not touching, any bone. There is a chart in the owner's manual with further tips on thermometer placement for different types of protein. 
When the Ninja grill has finished preheating, Add Food appears on the LCD screen. Open the hood, place the food with the inserted thermometer in the Ninja grill, and close the hood over the thermometer cord. The Ninja grill will start cooking the food. The progress bar at the top of the LCD display will track the doneness of the cooking food. Flashing doneness indicates progression to that doneness. The Ninja grill will automatically stop grilling when the desired doneness is almost reached, as the Ninja grill accounts for carryover cooking. And Get Food will display on the LCD screen. Transfer the food onto a plate while Rest displays on the LCD screen. You can remove the thermometer at this time. However, the food still needs to rest on the plate for another 3-5 to five minutes to allow the food to continue the carryover cooking to reach the level of doneness that you wanted. This is an important step. If you do not rest the food on a plate for 3-5 to five minutes, the food may be undercooked to your liking. Be aware that the carryover cook times can vary based on the size of the protein, the cut of the protein, and the type of the protein. Air crisp. Air crisp is similar to air frying. You can air crisp french fries, vegetables, chicken breasts, chicken thighs, chicken wings, potatoes, bacon, pork chops, pork tenderloins, sausages, and frozen foods such as chicken nuggets, fish sticks, french fries, mozzarella sticks, pizza rolls, and tater tots. Place the cooking pot in the Ninja grill and then place the crisper basket onto the cooking pot. Make sure that the splatter shield is in place, then close the hood. Press the Air Crisp button. The default temperature setting will display. Use the up and down arrows to the left of the LCD display to adjust the temperature. The maximum temperature for the Air Crisp function is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the up and down arrows to the right of the LCD display to adjust the cooking time in one minute increments. The maximum cooking time for the Air Crisp function is one hour. Or, instead of setting a cooking temperature and cooking time, you can use the included thermometer. See the section on this video on how to use the thermometer. Press the Start Stop button to begin preheating. The progress bar will begin illuminating on the LCD. The Ninja Grill needs to be preheated before you place your food inside. You can skip the preheating by pressing the Skip Preheat button but is recommended to preheat. For the air crisp function, it takes about three minutes to preheat the Ninja Grill. You can also cancel preheating while the Ninja Grill is preheating by pressing the Skip Preheat button. When preheating is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and Add Food will appear on the LCD display. Open the hood and place the food in the crisper basket. Once the hood is closed, cooking will begin and the timer will start counting down. For best results, depending on the food, such as french fries, it is recommended to shake the food frequently. When you open the hood, the Ninja Grill will pause cooking. Use silicon tip tongs or oven mitts to shake the crisper basket. When done, replace the crisper basket, close the hood. Cooking will automatically resume after the hood is closed. When cook time is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and End will appear on the LCD display. It is time to eat. Roast. To roast, place the cooking pot into the Ninja Grill. Ensure that the splatter shield is in place. Then close the hood. Press the Roast button. The default temperature setting will display in the LCD. Use the up and down arrows to the left of the LCD display to adjust the temperature. The maximum temperature for roast is 425 degrees Fahrenheit. For the roast and bake function, you can convert your traditional oven recipes by reducing the temperature by 25 degrees Fahrenheit. For example, if your traditional oven recipe calls for an oven temperature of 375 degrees, use 350 degrees for that recipe in the Ninja Grill for the roast or bake feature but make sure to check the food frequently to avoid overcooking.
Use the up and down arrows to the right of the LCD display to adjust the cook time in one minute increments up to one hour and five minute increments from one hour to four hours. Four hours is the maximum time that you can roast with the roast setting. Or instead of setting a cooking temperature and cooking time, you can use the included thermometer. See the section on this video on how to use the thermometer. Then press the start stop button to begin preheating. The progress bar will begin illuminating on the LCD. The Ninja Grill needs to be preheated before you place your food inside. You can skip the preheating by pressing the Skip Preheat button, but is recommended to preheat. For the roast function, it takes about 3 minutes to preheat the Ninja Grill. You can also cancel preheating while the Ninja Grill is preheating by pressing the Skip Preheat button. When preheating is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and add food will appear on the LCD display. Open the hood and place the food in the cooking pot. Once the hood is closed, cooking will begin and the timer will start counting down. You can check your food to avoid overcooking. When you open the hood, the Ninja Grill will pause cooking. When you close the hood, the Ninja Grill will resume cooking and counting down. When cook time is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and N will appear on the LCD display. It is time to eat. Bake. To bake, place the cooking pot into the Ninja Grill. Ensure that the splatter shield is in place. Then close the hood. Press the bake button. The default temperature setting will display in the LCD. Use the up and down arrow buttons to the left of the LCD display to adjust the temperature. The maximum temperature for bake is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. For the roast and bake feature, you can convert your traditional oven recipes by reducing the temperature by 25 degrees Fahrenheit. For example, if your traditional oven recipe calls for an oven temperature of 375 degrees, use 350 degrees for that recipe in the Ninja Grill for the roast or bake feature but make sure to check the food frequently to avoid overcooking. Use the up and down arrow buttons to the right of the LCD display to adjust the cook time in one minute increments up to one hour and five minute increments from one to two hours. Two hours is the maximum time that you can bake with the bake setting. Or instead of setting a cooking temperature and cooking time, you can use the included thermometer. See the section of this video on how to use the thermometer. Press the start stop button to begin preheating. The progress bar will begin illuminating on the LCD. The Ninja Grill needs to be preheated before you place your food inside. You can skip the preheating by pressing the skip preheat button, but is recommended to preheat. For the bake function, it takes about three minutes to preheat the Ninja Grill. You can also cancel preheating while the Ninja Grill is preheating by pressing the Skip Preheat button. When preheating is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and add food will appear on the LCD display. Open the hood and place the food in the cooking pot. Once the hood is closed, cooking will begin and the timer will start counting down. You can check your food to avoid overcooking. When you open the hood, the Ninja Grill will pause cooking. When you close the hood, the Ninja Grill will resume cooking and counting down. When the cook time is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and end will appear on the LCD display. It's time to eat. If you want to bake round cakes, there are round baking pans that can be purchased from Amazon for this Ninja Grill. Broil. Broil is a cooking technique that involves exposing food to high heat which quickly sears the surface of the food, creating a brown and crispy exterior while sealing in its natural juices. This method is often used for cooking thinner cuts of meat, fish, and vegetables. To broil with a Ninja Grill, place the cooking pot in the Ninja Grill, then place the food in the cooking pot. Ensure that the splatter shield is in its place, then close the hood. The Ninja Grill does not preheat in broil mode. Press the broil button. 
The default temperature setting will display on the LCD. Use the up and down arrow buttons to the left of the LCD to adjust the temperature. The maximum temperature in the broil mode is 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Then use the up and down arrow buttons to the right of the LCD to adjust the cook time in one minute increments. The maximum cook time for broil is 30 minutes. Or, instead of setting a cooking temperature and cooking time, you can use the included thermometer. See the section of this video on how to use the thermometer. Press the start stop button to begin broiling the food. Remember, the Ninja Grill does not preheat in broil mode. When cook time is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and N will appear on the LCD display. It's time to eat. Dehydrate. Dehydration is a cooking technique that involves removing moisture from food to extend its shelf life and preserve its nutrients. It is typically achieved by exposing the food to low heat and circulating dry air. This method of cooking is commonly used for fruits, vegetables, and meats and can be used to create items such as jerky, dried fruits, and vegetable chips. Dehydrating food can also make it more portable and convenient for camping, hiking, and other outdoor activities. With the dehydration function, you can dehydrate fruits, vegetables, beef, chicken, turkey, and salmon. To dehydrate fruits and vegetables, it can take between six to eight hours. To dehydrate beef, chicken, and turkey, it takes between five to seven hours. To dehydrate salmon, it takes between three to five hours. There is a dehydration table in the included recipe booklet. To dehydrate, place the cooking pot in the Ninja Grill. Then place a single layer of food you want to dehydrate in the cooking pot. Then place the crisper basket in the pot on top of the food and add another layer of food to the crisper basket. Ensure that the splatter shield is in place, then close the hood. Press the dehydrate button. The default temperature setting will display. Use the up and down arrow buttons to the left of the LCD display to adjust the temperature. The maximum temperature for dehydration is 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Then use the up and down arrows to the right of the LCD display to adjust the dehydration time in 15 minute increments. The maximum time you can set for dehydrate is 12 hours. Press the start stop button to begin dehydration. The Ninja Grill does not preheat in dehydrate mode. When dehydration time is complete, the Ninja Grill will beep and N will appear on the display. Okay, that is it. I hope that you like this Ninja Grill.